The U.S. this week urged its citizens in Ethiopia to leave now, saying there should be no expectation of an Afghanistan-style evacuation. The Federal Aviation Administration advisory issued Wednesday cites the ongoing clashes between Ethiopian forces and fighters from the northern Tigray region, which have killed thousands of people in a year of war. The Federal Aviation Administration advisory notes no reports of disturbance at Bol International Airport Addis Ababa and no indication of an intent to threaten civil aviation. Yet it says the risk to approaching and departing plans could increase if the Tigray fighters encircle the capital. The Tigray forces who had long dominated the national government before current Prime Minister Abi Ahmed took office in 2018 have approached Addis Ababa in recent weeks and joined up with another armed group, the Ormo Liberation Army, with the aim of pressing Abi to step aside. The Tigray forces also say they are pressuring Ethiopia's government to lift a month-long blockade on the Tigray region, which includes an Ethiopian government restriction on flights over Tigray. The Federal Aviation Administration advisory also says the Tigray fighters likely possesses a variety of anti-aircraft capable weapons, including rocket propelled grenades, anti-tank weapons, low-caliber anti-aircraft artillery, and manned portable aircraft defense systems, or man pads which could reach up 25,000 feet above ground level. UK Minister for Africa Vicky Ford last week told reporters that Britain now advises against all travel to Ethiopia apart from the airport for departures and transfers.